Well, meanwhile, Minnesota lawmakers are back in St. Paul for the 2017 legislative session. 200 recently elected lawmakers took their seats in the newly restored state capitol, which has been closed to the public for several years for the renovations. Pat Kessler's at the capitol tonight. Uh, Pat, a lot of news today, and this is certainly one of the big deals. Uh, yeah, it really is. Uh, it's been three years since this building was fully occupied. Now there is a remarkable restoration complete, and there is a new legislature, too, but all signals are pointing to the same old gridlock. Minnesota Republicans swept to victory in November, capturing the majority in the Senate. To the best of your judgment and ability, so help you God. And the House. Uh, Minnesotans have given us, uh, really, a, entrusted us with a, with a big responsibility, and, and with that comes, you know, the, the, the necessity to, to, to lead. And to a day of ceremony and family and history. Democratic Representative Ilhan Omar is the first Somali-American legislator in the country. Having the, the people of Somali descent that are Somali Minnesotans uh, see themselves as part of the people's house. Red Wing Republican Barb Haley admits to being a little nervous, but ready. It's very humbling, yeah, it, it, and, and, and I feel an immense sense of responsibility for the, the people that elected me to serve. The opening of the 2017 session marks the grand reopening of the state capitol itself. Workers putting the finishing touches on a remarkable $300 million restoration that left visitors gobsmacked. Democratic Governor Mark Dayton has moved back into his capitol offices with something less than optimism about the session ahead. I don't think it's going to be easy. I've said all along, I, don't th I think this is going to be a very... Uh, contentious session because we have these very significant differences. And people... <clears throat> Republicans and Democrats do agree on the number one priority. They say they've got to fix for 121,000 Minnesotans those jaw-dropping spikes in their health insurance premiums this year. Now, the governor today called for quick action in a week to get that moving and get those people who got hit the hardest some help. All right, we'll see if that happens. Pat, thank you very much.